So Matt, a 3-2 defeat to Peterborough, what are your thoughts on that one? We, we started too poorly um, and obviously the first half was a painful half. Um, as the game progressed, we showed what we can do, what we're capable of. A, a different side to us, um, we stopped being soft, we took the game on, we started coming out in individual moments in the game um, and we almost got a, a big reward which would have been something to take from the game but all of a sudden there's been a softness in, in terms of our all-round play but certainly our defensive moments um, and those three goals are poor goals today. You mentioned those three poor goals. When you're playing a team against like Peterborough, they're good enough themselves rather than just you know giving them those opportunities. How frustrating is that? Frustrating, really frustrating. Um, but good to see a couple of players hold hands up in, in, in terms of that. Um, yeah, like you say, they've got some real quality on show. Um, but there was a shakiness all of a sudden to our defensive moments. Um, it, it needs a bit more of an understanding that when that ball's in around my area, um, they don't go up the pitch. Either there's a foul or a tackle, great a regain, but certainly a backwards pass that I took in that first half more often than just a, the opposition breaking through our, our team. Um, so we'll assess certain aspects. We, we didn't change anything at half time. We just demanded that they put their bodies in front of that ball in the opposition man. And all of a sudden, um, a couple of players did that, a couple of substitutes did that. And, and the difference the team got from it was, was incredible. You speak about belief and how it drained and confidence drained last weekend. You can't play with no confidence. You can't play with a lack of confidence or a lack of belief in, in you coming out on top. Otherwise, you just turn into a, a half-hearted player. And we had too many of those in that first half. But the way they came back in that second half, and we've created enough chances towards the end to, to get something out of the game. And you mentioned there, good little moments here and there, but did it almost feel like there was too much to do 17 minutes into the game? Well, three, three goals is too much to do. Um, yeah, and, and the, like I say, all three goals are disappointing from, from our point of view. Um, and even when the third one went in, we felt we were in a good position in the game. Um, that's, that's the frustrating aspect because there's, there's sort of killer blows and then the third is absolutely massive. It, early on in the second half last week, it was a killer blow and it certainly was today. But then we still believe we still went at it. Um, if that game goes on any longer, um, we might create a moment which is memorable. 3-0 down, there's plenty of opportunity for people to sort of let the game go. So how happy were you with the substitutes that came on to make yeah, an impact? get a balance right because you've got nothing to lose. Um, and I know it's wrong to say you can go out with a nothing to lose mentality um, because we've all got an awful lot to lose. But you've got to go out with a mentality that when it's in front of me, like I've said, in terms of the action and the ball and the opposition, then I'm taking care of myself. And we just didn't do that in, in that first half often enough. Didn't match the speed of it competitive duels we were second best and the goals compounded that but then in the second half you know I thought Gats was absolutely outstanding he was um, and that's a real moment for him to put his hand up and say pick me next week which is a performance related game probably will start the game next week if he has a good week's training um, and he got his goal to boot and all of a sudden the rest of the team just fed off that energy. And you mentioned as a manager sometimes you know you gain a lot from certain players and you realise certain things about others. Was this another sort of learning opportunity? Uh, well, yeah, I've got to stop using that word. Our, our fans would crucify me if I keep using that word too much and, and collectively as a group. They're a young group, they play like a development group. We, we know that and, and so learning is a big part of it but that's uh, an excuse to hide behind in terms of our performances. Um, Barnsley, we were in the game, very competitive after, tw after 20 minutes competitive last week and then we've absolutely folded and we started like that. We started like we've been beat 4-0 last week, um, second best in too many areas and all of a sudden the game's scared and scarred too many of us um, and then you'll be saying to me and the fans will be saying we'll pick people who, who can do a better job from the start and um, that's certainly something we'll look to do. And finally, Kofi, his first league start half, how happy are you for him? Delighted for Kofi, delighted for the family, um, anyone who's worked with Kofi at any stage. Um, I thought he was one of the bright sparks in that, that first half. Um, but for, when you're saying that about a 17-year-old, it's a, not a damning statement on the rest. It's, it's not enough from the rest. And, yeah, and he, not fell foul, but he, he struggled on the back of no platforms around him. He's going to be a serious player, a serious player. And, and we're going to keep on working with him, keep on putting him on the pitch. I've got to trust him as best we possibly can because one thing this club keeps on needing is those young players from within to keep pushing themselves into that first team. And, and like I said about Gat's performance, Kofi's performed pretty well this week. So we'll make a decision depending on how training goes this week.